more or so as an offlane. Five seconds remaining. Well, they're gonna run out of time. Two seconds left. Let's see what they go for. Oh, it's Finds him again, though. And this should be a kill. One more hit needed. Oh, not a kill. Bounty Hunter. There's a Sentry Ward down as well. Toss comes out as well. The first one still goes to Chrissy. But at least Jamma Take has something in return. And that means no more sentries for tearing. Fuck, please. They're taking so much damage. Ooh, gets the silence off. And maybe at the double damage, we're going to share toss. No. Io keeping that tiny safe. The dust comes out. They want to try and take down the bounty hunter. The toss is there. Is there enough damage? Yes, there is. Io gets a kill, even though the witch doctor went inside the dire jungle. Ooh, they do find tiny, but the avalanche doesn't hit. Looking for more, the cast comes out, will bound towards the puck though, but he's able to dodge that one. But Mushi taking so much damage, doesn't have anything, no hold on, will get picked off, and now Puck in a lot of trouble, doesn't have his dream crow anymore. They get the IO, but that's it. Oh, Chrissy, DJ, I think you're in way over your head. Will go down as well, doesn't get the witch doctor kill, and three heroes go. Alchemises, Beastmaster, and some problems. You know when I said that Beastmaster was like really useful, even if he doesn't get farm? He's mostly useless, but he needs more levels to be more useful. As you do want him to get to. Uh, whoa, Dust is there as well. The call that is there as well. I don't think Chris will make it out though, but perhaps they can get something in return. They get the Peter Payne, they get the Witch Doctor. Oh my god, that, that trade's so favorable. Poor Fanatic. Then Puck. Puck is having a bit of issues, I find. Is that her death didn't really come at a good time for her. She went for treads first, so that's good. As Darkseer takes out Ice Storm from isn't that kill, guys, but uh, Ohio will go down for that himself. Bit too aggressive there. He does have a bit of backup, but yeah, that's too force fed a mango from Ohio. Do they want to go for this? Yes, they do. Jerk and toss. Hits up on both. Gyrocopter coming in from behind. Has got a cooldown. Both for me. Gets the cast out, gets to, gets tries to do as much damage as he can. Sonic Wave there as well. Mushi is the target. Maybe Ben can make something happen, but his link is now on cooldown and he's taking a lot of damage, but Mushi is taking more damage. No, he eats a fairy fire and he will get the kill. With the bounty hunter there as well, there's two track kills. Now Tiny coming in, gets tracked as well as Dream Coil. No miss up coming for him, silence up for the moment. Do they have enough damage to take him down before the silence ends? It looks like they can. The toss still comes out, though he still gets a kill in the dark here, but he will end up going down on a track kill. Going the way of the flea. Oh, they know. Hello. They know. They locked him in. The caller comes in. Nice castle. Hits it from both. Track already going on in the way. Track away. Track does have an ultimate. Rubik and Bouncer are both enough dead. But Gyrocopter lives. And he doesn't die from the Iron Shell. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Teleports into the mid lane, has to be careful there, looks for the deny, perhaps Dream Coil is there, the deny is still there, perhaps he can take that Tiny, Tiny tries to teleport out but won't be able to make it out, kill goes the way of Fnatic, and the Io was not able to save him, jerk and toss, there it is, no teleport for you anymore, and another track kill on the board for Fnatic, as they take out 3-4-3, in the meantime on the bottom lane there's a chase, Ohio, looks to be the target, Roar is there as well as a Death Ward. Another Roar returned up onto Radiant the Witch Doctor, but does Ned have any backup? I don't think he does. He gets died under the tower. In comes Ned. Should be enough damage to take him down. One more hit needed. Hello. One more hit needed. No. In comes Puck. And down goes Ned. No, goes Ice. Now Queen of Pain jumps forward. Gets a kill still, but at least they got the Big Master in return. And the Witch Doctor as well. As Bounty Shutter was able to grab him. The Invisibility Rune is not going to happen. The track is there. The Sentry Ward is there. DJ on point with those sentries all the time. Attack. Looks for the kill. Puck's jumping afterwards as well. Does have a blink dagger again soon. Blink away. But Puck is already there. Looks to blink in two seconds. We'll have the waiting rift available and that's enough to take the kill. In the meantime, the real kid was there as well with the Io and the Tiny picking up the bounty hunter and uh, able to at least make sure that they get something in return. The relocate doesn't take the Io with him anymore, as uh, Puck is able to get the bounty room there, but Yamate should be fine. But that's another big win of going away. And Fnatic just keep making these trades, and even though the trade the trades themselves are already favorable for Fnatic, so imagine that with a track gold bonus as well, as they also has been involved in 10 kills, did die 6 times, like, yeah, tearing. As wait a second, we're gonna see this fight first, they will find Ice Bird, nice on the play. 
but there is a mechanism anyways. They didn't even use that one yet. The Sonic Wave actually was not long enough range. Bouncy apparently goes up down goes down. And they are able to get the kill, but Nat stole the death ward, making sure that Terry is feeling a bit iffy about coming close. Nat and taking a lot of damage there. Has got that urn taking him down and should actually kill him off. No, he gets bottle charges from mid one who gets tossed on him as well just to finish him off. Where Christy ended up taking the heat. Can they find someone? Beastmaster getting tracked off. Dream Crow coming out to the Queen of Pain. They should be able to track in a second. No, one second. No, no track. Doesn't matter though. They might be able to get Ice still here. Do they? No. Io relocating in. Getting tracked off. He's by himself. He actually. Yamate is stuck. Now he can blink in to join the fray. The toss is there. The Witch Doctor will end up getting picked up though with his 3 for 2. They're looking for more. More track kills. Rock and Mirage coming out as well. One for four. Yamate. Are they gonna die? Blinks away just in time. Does get another track on him. Does look like Fnatic will be able to take the tower. No, but they're actually gonna chase this one. They're gonna chase this one for sure. As the Dagon is being built by the Pog. I don't even know why I was thinking you will because at this point, mid one is so far ahead that the Dagon. Sorry guys, I can't be more loud or. Uh, in terms of uh, enthusiasm, because uh, Steve and David would not like that call out coming. <laughs> oh, I see it's so dead. Uh. Oh, Ling coming forward to another track kill. Guys, can we stop giving track kills to Fnatic? Because you're not doing anything. Ted has a better option in, in terms of trying to delay the game, and that's exactly what they need to do delay the game because they're not getting anything done right now. And they're actually in a lot of trouble right now as well as Beastmaster and I have been blown up. Yamate yeah, teleporting Radiance out, they won't be They got the the combination of Tiny to clear out the wave. They got these in wave here actually. They're, they're, oh, the track was still on, they still saw him, they still jump and they still silence him, they should be able to still kill him as well. No IO close by to help, even though he had his relocate. Normally you'd... No, I, I think, in theory... No, it should be fine. I think, think you can you can finish a battle. Radiant's bottom tower. Tower will still fall though. The BKB is used. Toss, toss is a creep right back at Yamate, but it's just a creep. The tracks are there. The call on is there as well as the wall. The floor on Ohio is it enough? Nice on the The mechanism is still there though. It is a gyrocopter that looks to be speeding up. He doesn't have an Aegis. But it doesn't matter. Puck has the Aegis, still has it. Queen of Pain dies, Beastmaster lost from a life, and that is a dead Beastmaster as well. Queen of Pain bought back though, wants to take down the Aegis at least. Looking to blink forward. Go again. Have a nice Tosh. Tosh. <laughs> More coming out, maybe they can do some damage right here. The Don Ohio once again, the Sonic Bay racing through, but the mechanism is there, and it's the Beastmaster that dies first. Yamate will follow. The Witch Doctor not standing a chance against the Rocket Barrage of Mushi, who has BKB for that as well. These racks will fall. And Iowa and Queen of Pain last one's alive. I like what they're trying. They're just trying to nuke Ohio down perhaps before he can use the pipe and the Greaves. Greaves Greaves, but he's. Guardian Greaves, rather. What? Guardian Greaves. But he's not able to do that. They're just they're just roaring on him, they're sonic waving him, and then he just heals everybody back up again. And that is the GG. That means Fnatic 2-0 tearing, and Fnatic will see them again later today as they move on to the winner's bracket finals and only one match away from making it to the Shanghai Major. Don't fret though, tearing fans, because tearing still has a chance tomorrow to go through the lower bracket. Tomorrow there's two series being played, and those two series uh, need to be won for the teams playing in